Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Liana and today I will be doing a little short video about book thrifting and also I went to a bookstore to see if there's any books and um, that's pretty much it and this is going to be a pretty short video since filming there was super duper hard since there was just so much people but anyways, I hope you enjoy and let's get started on with the video. The first book I saw was kind of surprising, but I found Six of Crows here, and I never saw it, and it's for $6, and it was kind of ruined a little bit, like the pages and everything, so um, that's that. Um, there was a, a like huge selection of what you can get, but I checked the mystery and crime section because that's where I usually check, and um, I found like a few books as you can see. Um, I did find Gone Girl, but it was in a cover I didn't really like, like I was about to get it, but I decided not to because I want the original cover. But anyways, here's some like ones I just like pulled out. These are some random ones I just saw, but let me know if you guys read them and if I should try them out, but yeah. So there isn't really ones I knew because there were, uh, I think more like adult thrillers than other ones, or they're like older thrillers that I've never seen before. But anyways, on the next area, we, I found this book just sitting here, but it looks kind of interesting. I might check it out, but I'm not sure. And then here's some just like other stuff, and this is the fiction section, I'm pretty sure. So that's that. Um, I didn't find anything that interesting here, honestly. I don't really check this section at all, because I think they're mostly historical fiction, which... Um, it really depends on the book if I'm a fan of it, but yeah. So there was a lot of people um, in the area, so I decided to stop recording for a little bit. And I looked around, and there just wasn't a lot of things that I wanted to get. But um, I checked the young adult fiction once everyone was gone. And I found the Throne of Glass like, series, and then there was just like classics and stuff. So we have the Hunger Games series over here. And then we also have the Divergent series and some other like classics that you might have seen. But anyways, these aren't really what I am like looking for. I was mainly looking for like thrillers or fantasy, but these aren't really what I was looking for, but it's still interesting to see them. But yeah, so anyways, um, afterwards, I just like left because there wasn't anything good. But anyways, I headed home and here's like the outfit of the day if you're wondering. But yeah, so um, when I went home, I ate pizza for lunch since I was pretty hungry. And then afterwards, we went to Indigo and I, Indigo, I found a book that I've been planning to get for a long time, which is a Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And I'm really excited to show you guys. So as you can see from the clip, I got a Good Girl's Guide to Murder and this is the book right here and I got this from Indigo so it's not actually from the um, book thrift thing and I couldn't find any good books from the thrift store just because they're like old books so there isn't like any like you know like young adult ones or like new releases and yeah so that's pretty much it and this has been on my TBR for a long time now and i just got it um, like um yesterday and um over here i have the second book to the series and this is good girl bad blood and i got this from the thrift store a few months ago so this isn't like what i got from the other clips but um i got this one first just because um it was pretty cheap i think it was four or five dollars so I got this and now I can read the series but I don't have the third book in the series which is As Good As Dead and I'm definitely going to get this soon so that's hopefully I can find it from the thrift store if not I'll just buy it at Indigo but anyways I'm going to start reading this pretty soon but if you want to know what it's about um, it's basically just like a detective case um, so it's about basically this high school senior who gets murdered by her boyfriend and then he kills himself and then um, our main character Pip is the detective in the case and she basically um, decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project 
and then she discovers a lot of dark secrets that may prove that he's innocent and that's just the story and then this one is um a podcast which i don't want to read too much about this since it might be a spoiler for the first book so that's why i'm not gonna like get like too deep into this and i haven't read this yet since i'm still reading a book right now and i don't want to continue um this right now so i'm just gonna finish the book i'm reading and then i'll read this but yeah so that is pretty much the haul that i have for you today but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what else you would like to see from me and see you guys next time bye